great. Uh, I'm going to bring up your next comic, and this is, I'm not setting this up. This really is a close friend of mine. He's a very funny guy. He's been on Tonight Show uh, since it was actually the Today Show. That's how long ago he's been on it. <laughs> he's been on with Carson, and he's been on with Leno, and he's very funny. Please welcome Mr. Rick Scheidner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am, uh, I am married. I talk about being married because I'm married. And if you're single, you know, you know, it's a, it's a whole different thing. And I know sometimes you get lost because single and married, two different species, man. Totally different. If you've never been single before, I, I, there's a difference. Just the way they leave the house is a difference. Single people go out. Married people get out. <laughs> it's more of an escape plan than anything else. <laughs> We've been married 28 years, so we are out of the love and cherish part of the wedding vows into, uh, well, it's only going to end one way. That's all I'm saying there. <laughs> I know she's going to win, but I'm giving it my best shot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my parents just celebrated 65 years of marriage. 65 years of marriage. Yeah. yeah. I asked my dad, I said, Dad, what's the secret of 65 years of marriage? He said, simple, son. Don't leave and don't die. It's really not much more complicated than that, is it? Any married person here knows, every married man and woman in this room knows you've got to work through those moments. You've got to work through it. You've got to those moments. It's going to happen any time of the day. Or one second, you look at the other person, you think to yourself, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And your next thought could be, how can I fake my death? Don't misunderstand me. I love my wife. And I want to stay married for all sorts of reasons. One of the reasons I don't want, want to be dating at my age. Don't want to be dating. A buddy of mine's out there. He's out there dating my age. One night he says to me, hey, Rich, I'm going to go out and chase some women. I go, chase some women? Have you looked at yourself lately? <laughs> Your chasing days are over. Your best shot is laying wait. <laughs> Set some traps and check them every couple of weeks or something. It changes, it changes. You know it changes with age. When you're young, when you're young, I see some young people, when you're young, man, the hormones are so working on you. Men and women at a young age are just like salmon up a stream. You go after each other, you can't help it. When you get a certain age, I don't know what age it is, but a certain age, those hormone levels drop off. If you're still single, love becomes more of a math equation. <laughs> Let's see, she lives 30 miles away. Gas is 312 a gallon. I don't think this is gonna work out. I'm looking more for a neighborhood kind of gal. <laughs> and look, I know, you know, I know, I make plenty of mistakes, you know. Sometimes I forget to do little romantic things, like to talk to her. Because <laughs> we argue, man, we argue, a lot of things we argue about. We argue about money, man, we argue about money. Money is like a... I think the big myth is that since women shop more, they spend more, but guys actually buy more expensive things with all kind of evens. It's just whoever's doing the bills is the one who tends to snap, right? <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, babe, come here a minute. We got a little economic discussion. See, you can't spend more than you take in. Stop me if I sound out of line. This bill's yours, that bill's yours. You got to cut down, you're spending too much money. What about your boat? My boat, I need my boat. <laughs> You know that fish you ate last night, that fish that I caught with my boat? That fish would cost $10 in the store. I catch 4,000 more of those fish, that boat pays for itself. <laughs> and we argue, man, we, we don't argue, we fight. I don't like people go argue, we fight, man, we fight. And if we're having a fight, man, and that, as our, our, anybody knows we're fighting, we know, they know us, they know we're fighting. Our friends are the same way. I can tell what's going on my buddy's house just by the way he answers the telephone. He's got that tone of voice. Hello? Hey, Tony, what's going on over there? Ah, we're having a fight. Yeah, what about? I don't know. She won't tell me. <laughs> you just hold up here in the bathroom. Both things will blow over. <laughs> no, she's still moving around out there. I'm staying in here. Because like, <laughs> sometimes the arguments come out of nowhere. You ever been waking in the middle of the night for the other person? Like, wake up, wake up. I had a nightmare about you. <laughs> we 
we were driving in a desert and you just left me there. Well, go back to sleep, I'll come pick you up. I thank you very much, folks. That's my time, I thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna bring out this next comedian. She's on an NPR show and uh, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, come on, wait a minute. I don't know. No, no, it's not ladies. What is it? Thank you. She's on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Thank you very much. See, if my wife is not telling me things, I don't remember anything, all right? Because I don't have to. But she's a very funny one. She'll be on in two weeks. She'll be on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me in two weeks. Please welcome Helen Wong. Please.